The University of West Florida's Leisure Learning provides stimulating programs for older adults who are interested in joining a community of individuals who are at a similar place in life. Here to tell us more is Rhonda Robinson, Director of Leisure Learning. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. I really want to call you Rhonda Rousey. I, it's, it's the R thing that just trips me up. Ah, uh, yeah. But Rhonda Robinson. Yes, that is <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, well, I like to ask this first question of everyone. I want to know first a little bit about you, um, your background, and what you do for UWF's Leisure Learning. I'm originally from New Mexico. I moved to Pensacola area in 2011. I love it here. Wow, you have really haven't been here that long then. No, I haven't. Wow. No, I cool. haven't. So I started with the continuing ed in 2012. I was working part-time for leisure learning. And um, since then, the uh, founder of the program retired. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, just you know, had an opportunity and, and you took it. <laughs> and I love it. It's a fun program. I yeah. meet many, many wonderful people. I can so. imagine. Yeah. I, I, and I can't wait to talk about this. So let's get right into it. What is leisure learning? Leisure learning is an affordable academic type program for adults that are retired. It's designed for those that are in retirement. We have an age of 55 and older, but... Um, That's a requirement? It's, it's not really. I mean, a it's loose just sort of very yeah. loose. I, I say designed for those in retirement because most of our classes are during the day. They're, you know, Monday through Friday. Sure. So, you know, if they're interested in the topic and they're 50, right. I'm not going to say, oh, no, you have to wait till you're, yeah. Right. So it's a very loose, you know, thing. And it's a membership organization. So they, oh, okay. they pay a membership fee of $35 a year. That's, wow, um, that's really affordable. It's very affordable. Our classes are, most classes are just one session. So oh, okay. very low wow. commitment level as yeah. well. So when they see a topic they like, it's just usually $12 for that one class. So there's a membership fee and then there's a class fee. Class fee, fee. Okay. yes, yes. Gotcha. And we have, we have three semesters. So, and we have a class catalog every semester that's mailed to all of our members and they just can plan their schedule, pick their topics. They can register at any time throughout the semester. Like, we don't have set deadlines. Blackout periods yes, and stuff like that. Yeah, because when I think of universities and semesters and right. classes. Ooh, very easy going. Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> okay, you have a registration period, and you have to get no. 70 credit hours. <laughs> I have folks that will call me the morning of the class and say, can I just go right now, you know? So we cool. just, we take credit cards over the phone, so it's, it makes it Well, that it very makes it easy. really easy. Mm -hmm. That's great. And some events do require advanced uh, registration, and, and I try to put that in the class description. Mm -hmm, sure. So it'll say, you know, please register by, right. or there's limited seating, and that's something I tell them all the time. You know, look for that limited seating, you know, sign up right away, because right. we do have some popular topics that fill up fast. We um, you know, we do a McGuire's tour and there's only 12 people. A McGuire's tour? A now, McGuire's what is involved in the tour. McGuire's tour? <laughs> you get to see every part of McGuire's, the brewery and the the secret behind the scenes stuff. That is stuff. really it is neat. one of our popular so ones. Are so you, are you also involved in the development of, of activities and Absolutely. coordinating? So Absolutely. So was that your idea? Oh no, that that was <laughs> <laughs> that's been in existence forever. They've been doing wow. that one for a while. But we have a volunteer committee of about ten of us, and we all meet three times before each semester to plan out the classes. And uh, you know, so we come up with ideas, we brainstorm. Um, I, I couldn't do it without mm -hmm. them. I mean, they're they're a great group of folks, and they they know a lot of people in the community. And um, and that's who we rely on, mm -hmm. you know. And not everyone that teaches the topics are experts in that field. You know, some are hobbyists, some are just passionate about gotcha. literature, or they're you know passionate about history. Uh, so, and and we try to keep a good range of, of topics. Well, speaking of topics, tell us about some of the topics that you well, have available. 
other than the McGuire store. Wow, I think you're going to have quite a few people <laughs> jumping on board with we, that one. Um, we will do the Pensacola Bay Brewery probably this summer, so that's well, a I'm lot of fun. I'm starting to see a theme here. Um, well, <laughs> you know, it happens. Um, we are going to go to, next week we're going to go to Baker Block Museum cool. in Baker. And so we carpool for those that want to carpool, but most people just, you know, drive and mm -hmm. um We'll meet out there. We'll we'll have a docent at the museum, kind of give us you know a hands-on you know full experience, and then we'll go to the acres of strawberries after that and pick some oh, strawberries. Oh, that's so much fun! And go to the Gator I used to do Cafe. that as a kid. That is so much fun. <laughs> well, and it sounds like these are very active classes. I mean, they're getting out they're, and doing stuff. Yes, we do a lot of that. We do have like the tours. The tours are very popular, um, but we also have the, the lecture style. Gotcha. So they come and hear about, we had uh, a topic about dolphins, local dolphins and mm -hmm. the, the effect of the BP spill and how, right. you know, all that. And so they uh, have, you know, these topics that have been researched and so they're here to, you know, learn about that. And I think what I find the most interesting is, especially for UWF faculty that come, you know, share their topics. Mm -hmm. They love this group of folks because they want to be there. Oh yeah, absolutely. And they're so they'll ask they ask the greatest questions, and and they will challenge mm -hmm. you. I, I teach a, a Facebook class for them. A that lot is, of fun. What? <laughs> Listen, fun. I love my grandma, but she could probably take advantage of that class. Well, I don't she's know. She's in Kentucky, but <laughs> if she was here, you know, See? I would definitely recommend it because she still does funny stuff like posts her status to personal, like it's supposed to be a personal message. So. Oh, right. To yeah. somebody. <laughs> yes, and I have to explain, you know, what that right. is. You know, this is for all your friends to see or this is to your friends. Right. So, And that is a lot of fun. And yeah. so we have a lab in the continuing ed department and there's about 25 computers. So I, I fill them. That's awesome. 25 of them. So. Well, we are about to wrap it up, but I don't want to lose the opportunity to make sure you can mention there's an up coming event that you have in May? There is. It's, it's May 4th, uh, 1030. We've got the Korean Art and Modern Korea Culture event, and they're, they're going to be in full, you know, traditional, you know, Korean, dress. Yeah. Yes, and they're going to have uh, Korean desserts, and they're going to show a couple documentary films, and that's our that's really neat. first free event that we're, we're doing. So awesome. Well, your information is going to be on the screen. So if anybody yes. wants to contact you, they can reach you by that number and also UWF's website. Yes. The leisure learning is UWF um, edu slash leisure learning. So easy. Um, they can go to the website. The catalog is on the website, but I would be happy to mail one. We have, we still have spring classes through uh, the end of April. So if they Great. want a catalog, and our summer semester starts June 1st, so we'll have another catalog then. So sign up for that McGuire's tour. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rhonda. Thank we you. really appreciate you coming on the show today. I appreciate it.